longest day of the year. Do you know why? Why is that? It's the longest possible time before Canada Day again. <laughs> is that is that you don't like Canada that much? I uh, fuck their holiday. It's too close to ours, and we kick the Queen out. What, is, this is a Boxing Day is after Christmas, right? Boxing Day after Christmas. I actually figured out what that was about. You box up the things you uh, replaced or you don't want, and you give it to the poor. No, I heard it was had nothing to do with that. I heard it had something to do with that's when employers in Canada give presents to can, Canadians around the holidays. Because they box everything up. Where'd you learn this from? I don't know. It was on the radio. What radio? I don't know. Are you cheating on us? No. I just like to listen to how bad everybody else is compared to us. Someone flagged me down the other day and they said, I know that voice. Are you on the radio? And I said, yes. And they're like, I love your show. And I said, I'm not Josh Ennis. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they liked your show. I can't believe I ended up getting the same glasses as him too, that fucking hipster. You guys do look up there, man. You I point that out. Literally. Yeah. Anybody else notice that? I mean, yes, I until get, you really the... pointed that out. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. And you do love talking about wrestling, so. That's true. That's kind of odd. You ever seen them in the same room? The other one. No. It's true. Wow. The Mind. Other, isn't, it weird he, isn't it weird he gets fired from a uh, 94-1 or whatever and all of a sudden Delco Live launches right afterwards? Hmm. No. Oh, shocker. Conspiracy? Yes. Put in the books. But guys, welcome to Delco Live, by the way. <laughs> Happy July 2nd, 2019, you patriotic motherfuckers. <laughs> Wow. Al. Wow. He's just, he's just taking it. Al, I have to because I went to bed last night like I do every night after drinking a 40. <laughs> watching Monday Night Raw, part of a Law & Order. Hard as a rock. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Man, that, that Elliot Stabler just gets me fucking going. I would love to just bang one day while Ice-T says obvious <laughs> things. No, I don't want to bang him. Oh, okay. Good. I want him in the background just saying like, oh, yo, that nasty. <laughs> White people. I love his addi- <laughs> I love his additions. Like his entire premise is just to say what the plot is and say it's like weird. You tell me they dress up like squirrels and fuck each other, fucking white people. Oh, hey. yes, Curry was the first <laughs> comment on the thread tonight. Oh, good for me. Yes, Curry. Yes, Curry's back. So who was it from? That was from Greg Passamonti. I don't know. He sounds Italian. Yes, you can never trust those guys. Can't. No. So do we, you know him? I do. We figured we start updating Delco Live by getting my ugly bald mug off and putting Carrie's face on. You'll just hear my beautiful central voice. Disembodied voice. Yes. Everyone here has tattoos except for Al. This is true. Al, I went to bed last uh, night. Oh, well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. We're supposed to pick one for me and do it for the show. Uh, banana dildo. Uh, done. I, I mean, <laughs> where? It's a banana that's also a dildo. <laughs> right across my face? Yeah. Yes. Cameras will be back on me. <laughs> um, how about a do not enter sign on your butt? It's been done. Yeah, and it's not. A, I don't like to lie. So <laughs> what about um, what about uh, a license plate that says Delco on your ass? That oh. that would be. I wouldn't be against that one. The old PA license plate, like the blue one with the yellow writing. Yes. Not these new stupid. How about right about my ass is now leaving Delco or entering Delco? One or the other. Wouldn't it be funny? Now entering Delco yeah. right on your uh, ass. A sign yeah. that points to your butthole that says I need a Chester County Factory because <laughs> it makes shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, but no, I mean. I want this year to end with a fight uh, against Chester County, by uh, the way. I think I think a tramp stamp is what has to be. Get a tramp stamp of the, lo- of the Cosby Cougar. Okay. Oh, if Uncle Spiggy's logo tattoo. Oh. 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 I want to get that. that. That's not a bad one. That is a very, very good one. I'll get a tram stamp of the Cops Creek Cougar. Do it. You guys gonna hold hands while you... I don't know. Is it, I'm a little, I'll be nervous because it's my first one, so if definitely I'd be nervous. Now they hurt. Dude, they yeah, don't hurt right. that bad. You've had them all different parts of your body. What was the most sensitive part you got a tattoo on? Inside my arm. arm. Yeah? Yeah, right on the side right like, there. Like under the bicep, yeah. tricep Yeah, area. that hurt. Okay. My next one I'm getting is uh, right there, and it's going to be Dignity from The Simpsons. Okay. Um, Millhouse's dad has the breakdown and draws a big circle, weird thing, and says, It's Dignity! <laughs> yeah. What was your most sensitive tattoo? So, oh, speaking of sensitive tattoos, Al, Dang. it was this one that, until this morning, was patriotic and all about America, the Betsy Ross flag, which I wake up today, and apparently I'm a white supremacist now, Al. And you know how scary that how many people go, I... I heard people talking about what is what's what's the best what's what is a betsy ross flag what's so different about that like you really did not go to go second, find your fifth grade history third, teacher fourth 
fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth grade, we do not awake at any one moment in time during that history class. It's weird that they would be saying that and saying that to you, and they're somewhere within the realm of the Delaware Valley, where she's literally a fucking cultural icon. Yes. At the Betsy Ross house. Guess what I see out my window at work every day, Al? The Betsy Ross fucking bridge. That's true. Do you have a bridge named after you? No. Uh, do you? I don't know. But so, so, so. Not yet. Not yet. It is the fact of the bet of anything that there was possibly slavery at that moment in time mm-hmm. now considered racist. No. Dude, I like the number 13. I like America, and I grew up right outside Philadelphia. I wanted a Betsy Ross flag tattoo. It makes fucking sense. Everybody has it, especially 4th of July, you see a ton of the Betsy Ross flags. Like, decorations and all that stuff. 4th of July is when we signed with the 13 colonies. That's what the fucking circle is. But but I don't... Alright, so this is what I don't get. It's like, just because... Is it is it considered, or trying to be considered racist, because there was slavery at the time? They were the English slaves then. We're kicking them out of the country. Yeah, and didn't they all grant some slaves freedom for fighting in the war know. and all that I stuff? I can see how people can be offended by history. I don't think the Betsy Ross flag is, like, in that. Zone. It's not racist at racist. all. So, should um, Jewish people consider anything around World War II and Nazi Germany always, you know, genocidal? Like, they just never talk about it again? Like, it never happened? Al, Germany was pretty bad during the World no, War II. No, this is a weird <laughs> argument. No, no, my argument is is that you can't talk about it. Anything that happened at that time. So if a person, say, painted a, a, a picture that like was Like, who won the 1939 famous. World Series? Yeah. Racist. Racist bastards. No, that's not, no, that's that's a much worse argument than what, even what we're making. That's not. I'm just saying, if anything happened at a time during this moment, mm-hmm. it's automatically racist just because it happened at the same time. We'll have to ask Nike. And that's, yeah, there's Nike for you. And because of Colin Kaepernick said it. Yeah, see, uh, I don't know or care about him. He lost his job to Lane Gabbard. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why he hates white people. He lost his job to the whitest white person. Yeah, in the NFL. <laughs> like, that's, Blaine Gabbard. I mean, Blake Bortles would be the only worst person. Blaine Gabbard's worse. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, uh, depends on who you talk to. But, uh, but I mean... That's, Jacksonville. They fired both of them. So your arm literally became racist. You woke up with the most racist arm this morning. Yeah. 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 You racist. Room, sure. Seriously, like, that's mm-hmm. ridiculous. And it's above the fighting hellfish from The Simpsons, which is all about defeating the Nazis. So, but, I mean, ask this question. Is anything else about that time, is that also considered racist? Any other symbols from that time? Like the, Any uh, other music? Well, any other things? My problem with it is, if, there, if that's Nuggie's logic of why they're going to take it down, guess what? You can't be selling any Philly stuff. You can't be selling any 76er stuff with Liberty Bell on it. Because what did we do right after we signed to put that Betsy Ross flag on? We rang the Liberty Bell. And it broke. Yeah, exactly. Because black don't crack. <laughs> wow, Al. <laughs> this has been a great start. And there we are. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> but no, I mean, I just, I don't understand the argument. I, I, this is a bad one. What? I mean, this is this is like a really bad a stretch this morning. But that's what I'm saying. Like, did they did they feel like, all right, you know, the whole racism thing's kind of quieted down a little bit recently for five seconds. We have to find something to get pissed off about. Yeah. Let's think about something very historical and hate it. I don't even, I never heard anything about these. I mean, no one really follows Nike anymore. I don't know. I don't care. Fuck them. Like, I wasn't going to buy them. Well, no. Nah, They're not Chuck Taylor, so I wasn't going to buy them. They weren't the cheapest thing offered with shipping on Amazon Prime. I wasn't going to buy them. I don't care. But, uh, let me ask this question. Is, why, why, and Nike is only doing it because of Colin Kaepernick said it was racist. Yeah. No, I think there's already a backlash and he jumped in and he's on their payroll. And because he said they had to, like, you know... And if they're really, like, that concerned about, like, colonial times, it's weird because they'll also sell me a Cleveland Indians jersey or a Washington Redskins jersey. Okay, thank you. Yeah. You know, that was only... I was actually going to bring that up. Like, that was, like, probably one I can understand a little bit. The Redskins, things like that, because now, yeah. they are using racist... It's a little closer. Like, yeah, it's like... It, that's, I could swallow that argument a little yeah, better. Yeah, he would swallow <laughs> Hey, he's a there's, follower. There's a tattoo for you. Yep. Yeah. Put it on the list. <laughs> Put it on the list. Sucking's nice, but you win him over when you swallow. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know where you're going That's the Bonner motto. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Back. See, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full circle. We actually would say that at mass every. Let's uh, thank our sponsors real quick before we move on. Nike. <laughs> Nike. <laughs> <laughs>
Nike. If, is it less racist if I, I mean <laughs> I hate that I have to say is it less racist if my tattoo it does this? Um, is it better if I get the Nike sp swirl in the middle of the Betsy Ross swag? <laughs> so what about you my, should wait, hold on, hold on. You may have stumbled onto something here. What about Nike's trying to do get rid of the circle of stars and put a swoosh into it, and this is a whole campaign to do it based off racism. No, you're not fucking crazy. That's the worst part. <laughs> There's it's, a good not, it's, not, it, it's not unhurt. I mean, it's crazier shit has happened. Let's put it that way. I wonder. Like, it, all right, so... A lot of people, there's, there's, there's arguments a lot, since we're on the 4th of July, or coming up on the 4th of July, about, you know, if wearing the flag, or wearing things with the flag on it, or, or certain decorations, or certain things can be considered disgraceful, or disrespectful towards the flag, would that be more disrespectful if they took it and removed it with a Nike swoosh, now, on or less racist? On September 12, 2001, we were told to be obnoxious with the amount of flags yes. that we deal with. So, yeah, the more flags, the better. And you should sell so it you, you, Some historical tragedy has to occur for this to be okay? Al, I didn't give a fuck about the flag until 10.26 a.m. on September 11, 2001. And then I said, where's my flag? And I couldn't find them quick enough. I, f I feel like that's not true. I feel like you're a liar. You think I was just sitting I there? I, I honestly feel like everybody. you were sitting there, like with, like Rocky's American flag shorts on, <laughs> uh, like, like already ready, right like like gold chains with most patriotic looking symbols on it, just with your hair spiked red, white, and blue. I did grow up obnoxiously patriotic. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I find this hard to believe that up until that moment in time. He sounds like an obnoxiously patriotic guy, Fury, when you put it that way. Yeah, like. Like I think of the dude from Napoleon well, Dynamite. Flavor Town, USA. I, I think I think of Napoleon Dynamite wearing and a guy is wearing, Town he's racist? wearing his pants. You don't want to take a roundhouse kick to the face <laughs> right of these bad boys. Grab my left arm. My yeah. other left arm. Why is Flavor Town racist? I said, is it? It will be one uh, day. Give it, give it a minute. Yeah, give it a minute. Give it a minute. Think, it's named after Flavor Flav. How can it? How can it be? Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Is it? No, it's there's yeah, stealing. It's, it's it's race appropriation. <laughs> it's gentrification. <laughs> A flavor town. Is okay. it like one of those things you could twist it, anything into that now? Yeah. Like if you so. if you find the right term that's been made up in the last two and a half years that you can make some anything you want. Yeah. Why don't you stop with your microaggressions? <laughs> my, my, <laughs> see, yeah. Or just be creative about it. Or be creative with my microaggressions. That. Oh man. I'm all I'm all I'm all hyped I'm, up now. Really? Um, yeah. Like that's what guy is. <laughs> You're the one who up basically wearing a fucking giant swastika on your arm apparently now, Al. Put a little racist music on in the background. Please. I don't know what that means, and I can't hear. And I hope you're not fucking. Wait, no. What no, is it? Apparently, this yeah, you know, this music's all about history. This is the national so. anthem. This is our land. Is our land? You'd be anyone's land. Yeah. yeah, but I can see that. But listen, this <laughs> land is our land. And I can see somebody turn. Oh, that sounds super racist and aggressive. Oh, what do you mean our land? Our land? Whose land? We mean our people. That's what I'm saying. I can see that becoming the next racist thing. I just want to get to the point where I where your argument happens, and then just like the Native Americans walk up and be like, "What are you guys talking about?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. What's your complaint? All right. Well, Do you ever feel bad like if the Lenape Indian, sorry, the Lenape tribe came back? Wait, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. What? Why did you just change your word? To be more PC. Dude, your PC bro is getting old. Old hat. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. If the Lenape tribe, like, walked around, they were like, they went down 69th Street, and they were just like, really? Like, this is what you guys did? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I'd be mad Jerusalem if I was Lenape. furniture, a cricket wireless store next to a cricket wireless store. Really? Yeah. Really? All right, this well, has been a weird episode. It started off weird, but let's right. get it. I want to thank our sponsors over at Marty McGee's. Who will definitely Irish be dropping us. Yeah. Wow. Irish pub, tumble in. I swear and we're John not Morton's. normally like this. And John Morton's. <laughs> and they like, the most delicious roast beast in town. Let's uh, let's throw it up there for a second. But um, go ahead. We you actually went through the Delco history books. You did a lot of research for this. One. I'm a, I'm a huge history buff. So this came pretty easy then. You 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 knew most of this already. Most of it. Remember, I used to on a previous show. I used to be the uh, on hand historian. This is true. Yeah, this is my first time writing Delco history. It's not my first time. I, I live, breathe, you know, history. I read a couple articles a day about it. Big fan of modern history. Okay. Colonial ship bores me. Uh, the <laughs> fucking the Bessie Ross flag is the only great moment out of it. 
I bet you Ross flags. We talk about it at my clan meetings. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you left your hood in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your face. We want to see your face. <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know. People don't realize like we're Philadelphia is the birthplace of freedom, right? It's the birthplace of this country, right? Yes, exactly. What's right next to it? Delaware County. Yeah, yeah. The true birthplace which, of freedom. Which I'm guessing had a lot to do with that. I mean, it's not that far. George Watch is probably jerked off on all of our fucking lawns at some point. Uh. I, or not. I know Absolutely. he has gotten an STD at a local watering hole. Well, that's coming up in here. Yeah. That's so. a true fact. True fact. So, most of these are um, debatable if they're true, but some are based in reality. And you've always been a master debater, so that works out for master you. Master debater. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so. I want that on the resume. You want a master <laughs> debater? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you fit anything else in my room. That, there, there's something we could do. We could do a skit where you go around uh, for job interviews with a little hidden debater. camera. Yeah. And you put little things on there like, oh, I'm a master debater. So you yeah, tell well, me to go is. get job interviews that I could probably use and then you <laughs> waste them. Well, I used all my PTO for this show. Why not use the rest? Try well, to... I mean, all right, maybe go for jobs that you wouldn't want anyway. <laughs> apply it, Nike. Yeah, apply it, Nike. <laughs> I, I still wear Nike. They're nice. I was going to say, you'd probably work for Nike if you had a chance. Yeah, I'd fucking work for Nike. Well, what, what I'd about, still buy Nike if they were fine. What about the, what about the, like, you have to get your tattoo removed before we hire you? <laughs> Can I add more stars? Yeah. If you had one more star, is it now not racist anymore? Like, put one right in the middle or something? Yeah, yeah like, whenever slavery ended in, like, 1865, if I find out how many stars happened then, I'd be like, would you hire me, Nike? Well, it's like, maybe just put a little swoosh. A little swoosh right there in the middle. A little swoosh in the middle. Yeah. Swoosh. You get a Reebok logo. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. Does Reebok even make shoes? Nice. Does Reebok? Do they still make yeah, shoes? Yeah, it's my dad. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> I mean, that's like that's the Reebok shoes that you buy. Like they're like old man shoes. So Al, I put together the twenty most important moments in the history of Delaware County. Okay. And these aren't like well, well opening on April sixteenth, nineteen sixty four. These are probably more. Unknown unless you're a historian such as yourself. This land is from somewhere. Like, it literally... Oh, is it? Yeah. It's <laughs> the most scientific thing said yeah. on Yeah. <laughs> this land <laughs> is from like, somewhere. McDade Boulevard is... So it? profound. Mc, McDade Boulevard wasn't there when the dinosaurs were here. You sure? Are you positive? Sure. <laughs> what, yeah. did they all die in the great extinction of Barnabies or some shit? <laughs> well, I mean... Well, that's actually number 14. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I do, I do believe the only way to, to clear McDay Boulevard of any traffic is with a comet. So, I got food poisoning at a diner called the Blue Comet near my house. Okay, I've been there before. Wait, is that the one is on? That's number one. Palmer on Pike. List. Palmer Pike. Yeah. It's now the Empire Diner. Wait, wait no, no. Well, that's a different one I'm thinking of. There used to be a something blue, Comet in, in Clifton. Yeah, the old yummy where Yummies is. Yummies. Yummies. Or yummy, yummy yums, or whatever it's called. I had a lesbian describe her lover as yummy the other day. That's well, that sweet. makes sense. Nice. I mean, it, it makes sense. It was cute. It's nice. It's adorable. There's only one thing worse than bad breath for lesbians. I mean, I mean, well, I'm just saying. It makes sense though. <laughs> All right, so these are these aren't <laughs> in <incorrect>. order geographically. <laughs> I mean, these aren't in order uh, chronologically or importance. Okay. Should I just start with the first one, or do you guys want to pick a number between one and eight? Oh, let's, all right, yeah. Just let, let the guest pick a number. Three. Three. Three is a great one. Three might actually be the best one. It's almost like Oh, way to go. Just... You just blew the whole thing. Speaking, of, start start. Speaking start. of blowing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this would be, um, do we have any uh, history music? Like, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it, like that we won't get sued over. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of the, one, the first great founding moment in Delco history. April 20th, 1904, when General B.J. Lou Turk held Essington together through the couch dance famine of 1904. Delaware County was originally... God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless him. I wanted to bring... I should have brought my... I have it outside. My megaphone. I just did the Independence Day speech. We have a megaphone. It's It's right there. Yeah, we do. (laughs) Is that the Thunder Blaster 5000? (laughs) Okay, <laughs> Al, I'm sure they skipped over this when you were in public school or whatever. Catholic school, they didn't teach us anything yeah. about history. Um, I can tell you the second trial. public school. What's up? What'd you say about public school? Didn't you go to public school? I went to O'Hara. 
Yeah, public school. Yeah, public school. <laughs> Where'd you go before that? Holy Cross. Fuck. Did you go to public? No. I went maybe for kid Absolutely not. Kindy no, not really diverse crowd here. Yeah. Kind kindergarten, I went to uh, Westbrook Park. Does that count? I went to Hillcrest for kindergarten, yeah. so if it counts, it I'm, counts. count it. Count it. Count We're it. in. Mark it. Well, did they teach you this in kindergarten? Uh, Delaware County was originally settled- I don't know, so high at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so high right well, we now. Had something in common. Poor <laughs> tell. Actually, I was this- my voice was this deep in kindergarten. <laughs> Teacher, I got a potty. Yeah, I gotta take a squanch. <laughs> Don't slap her on the ass. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking about getting the tram stamp of the Wendy's logo. <laughs> oh, genius. You say no soda tax underneath. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, we're part of Delco. I, that comes up now. Oh, yes. Yeah, That's one of the greatest moments. That's a real story yeah, in here. Keep going. Keep going, please. Don't let me ruin it for you. <laughs> oh, God. I never felt like I did my due diligence for this country more than eating that double baconator <laughs> on a Monday night when I said, oh, I'm just going to go to bed. Well, we I saved you. your life. <laughs> You're welcome, Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> you were under the imperialist rule of Mayor Kenny in Philadelphia until two heroes stepped it up. <laughs> two very large, <laughs> out-of-shape heroes. <laughs> Why did we go to a second place to get more food? Because well, you went to the wrong place no, the no, first no, time. No. We went to the two Wendy's that were in Ridley Township. Yes. We showed that one did not charge the soda tax and one did. Absolutely. And then we said, <laughs> we ordered the same giant meal at both. <laughs> and then we said, we're not done, so we went to Royal Farms. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you can't I missed just a good have night. one baconator. They're like, they're like cheese curls. So you know? Sometimes you, you need to two. wash down your double baconator yeah. with some fried chicken. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That sounds amazing. So 1904, uh, with a, you know, your parents are from like Ireland or Italy or whatever. Yeah, no, one of my family was here in 1904. Al, your parents were, I don't, I don't know. Are they from America? Uh, my grandparents were the first of their family, and so, not at that time. They weren't here yet. My family wasn't from Delco at the time, but they were in America at the time. Uh, you? I don't know. Uh, I, I, uh, don't maybe? I, I, I don't know. I don't My family moved out to Delco probably when my parents were young. Well, they missed a really tough time in this county. Delaware County was originally settled by Puritans and Quakers. Once whiskey was introduced, everyone turned into Irish Catholics somehow, even the Italians and the atheists, and divided themselves into parishes. The county was still forced to live up to the outdated purity laws of its original colonizers and the vices that the town folk craved were tough to come by. One man, a retired Spanish Civil War general named Bobby John, BJ, Lewis Turk, rallied the islanders of Essington and broke the Puritan embargo, bringing in <clears throat> dancer after dancer to grind the poles, alleviating a true need that the Tinicum community needed. There's a monument built to him that regularly reenacts that triumphant feat built in his honor on Route 291. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm part of that historical reenactment group. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've stood in the hole. <laughs> I, I, I uh, it's I, a great I, I reenactment. I'm on the side of the stain coats. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Yeah, you know, there's the red coats and blue coats. Yeah, the stained coat. The stained coat. Yeah, the stained coat. The, the glitter sparkle coats. <laughs> Pick Stay one, high. two, or four. Uh, one. This one was more recent. It was really tough. I mean, this divided the, uh, the... A lot of people didn't know how, what, what we were going to do, like how we were going to get through. Most of us remember this. Um, uh, December 26, 2003. The Wawa gift card crash of 2003. Ooh. Oh, unboxing Yes. With thousands of Delconians purchasing Wawa gifts at Christmas time for their families, enemies, and co-workers that make them uncomfortable but still feel obligated to buy something for there's a huge surplus of collateral in the Wawa system. Wawa was still building store after store serving fresh jelly meats and o only few serving watered down oceanic gas. However, right after Christmas, they started baking their own rolls instead of installing touchscreens, hoping to profit from the tech boom and discontinuing the sale of Pizza Hut personal pans. This left entire families out in the cold as the Wawa stock market crashed. Large percentages of the community were stuck with useless gift cards as they had nothing they even wanted to fight for a parking space to spend it on. People eventually packed up what they had and headed west, 
looking for any form of convenience store that could provide them livable substance. Most ended up as sharecroppers, heading from sheets to sheets, hoping for a big break. But their burgers are bland after the first time. Few gave in to the boringness of Piggly Wiggly's and 7-Elevens. It was a true dark time for the county, which set in place a $50 limit per gift card to assure nothing like this could ever happen again. Yeah, that was, that was a tough time. It was dark uh, times. I do remember that. Um, I ate my friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I acquired a taste for the homeless <laughs> ale. <laughs> it makes sense. That's when he started eating it's the homeless. full circle. He couldn't point. get his Wawa. So he went for well, the next best thing. Well, couldn't taste any worse. Homeless. <laughs> you ever eaten a homeless person? I imagine they're delicious. <laughs> but it's not very time at the table. As, <laughs> as long as you wash them off first, I imagine they're pretty good. Yeah. It's not Make a sure they get up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. You know, under under 40, above 140. Yeah. The safe zone. Do you guys remember uh, learning about the Turkey Hill Rebellion of 1885? This is a big one. I need a refresher. This is a tough one. You know, this is where heroes are made. <laughs> It's the reason we're all here today. Yes. Um, it's, a, it's a fight against the Empire. It's basically Star Wars, but with Tur Turkey Hill. Is this ice cream or their drinks or everything? I believe it comes in, both come into play. Okay. On August 8th. Ass play? You clearly remember your... <laughs> were you in honors history? Yes, I was. <laughs> On August 8th, 1885, the southeast quadrant of the state was one large area known as Chester County. They stretched from Marcus Hook all the way to Lancaster. However, there was a class division within its confines. The Chescos, an elitist faction who favored Matt Ryan, Bam Margera, and two-lane bypasses, had control of the area and oppressed the Delcos, a blue-collar commune who favored John Capaletti, Tina Fey, and bridges you can beep at. Tensions boiled over, and on a fateful night of August 8, 1885, the Delcos rioted at the Chescos' beloved meeting grounds of the Turkey Hill, with rally cries of hell no, we're 610. This put in motion the revolt that created what would soon become Delaware County, drawing the dividing line at Westchester University. The Chescos continued their entitled ways on their farmlands with their mansions, while the Delcos went on to revolutionize the way a county should be, and established 130 bars, four libraries, and countless sectionated homes, and a little place to buy milk called a Wawa. The Turkey Hill Rebellion was the beginning of the end for the Chesco Empire. Yeah, I mean, that, that was probably one of the most biggest turning points in Delco history. I mean, without that, we wouldn't have the most bland, chewy sandwiches. Second, Turkey Hill's fucking worse. Is it? Yeah. Turkey Hill's fucking trash. All right. I wouldn't even go into one. What's worse, Turkey Hill's lemonade or Wawa's lemonade? Wawa's drinks are fine. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with Wawa's drinks. They're I'm not a big fan of the rice, too. The deli food is the problem. What is? Do you have anything you prefer Turkey Hill over with anything else? Food or what I prefer it over? Mm -hmm. Homeless people. I kind of. I would prefer homeless people. I don't know. I think you try to put on a big show that you don't prefer them, but I believe talks a lot about you. Homeless. Yeah, Turkey Hill really prefer. You've, no, I'm talking about. You've eaten homeless. a lot of homeless. Oh, yeah. Someone that doesn't like them. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like vegetables. Well, if you like can't beat them, them <laughs> eat them. He always says. <laughs> yeah, you can beat the homeless. <laughs> you've seen bump fights, right? <laughs> Yes. Isn't that what they now call we're the talking about beating the homeless. Wasn't that the short name for it? Bump fights? Did you ever jerk off the bump fights? <laughs> well, 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 at work. Right, right, at work. <laughs> not at work. And it wasn't on purpose. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I just blindly asked this because I was hoping there would be an answer. Hold on. Um, so, in my defense, I was rigorously masturbating to a different video. And it ended quicker than I did. And the next video up next was a bum fight, and I was just kind of like, I was in full throttle, and I was like, I ain't stopping. You were like, yeah, hit uh, him, yeah, hit him. Uh, I was not stopped. Dude lost his two last two front teeth, and I lost my few children. <laughs> I lost my pride. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right around the block. Did you know that that's a very important? Uh, it's a national historical landmark. No, please do tell. Well, maybe I do. I don't know what you're you talking know, about. My 91 Pontiac Sunbird isn't the only thing that ended up in the Ridley Marina. <laughs> oh, yeah? R.I.P. The Ridley... Oh, it's still alive. <laughs> I just don't own it anymore. The Ridley Marina Tea Cooler Party of uh, 1775. Happened on the night of October 28th. Mm -hmm. I think that's my birthday. Okay. I'm just running out of fucking date dates. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough dates of the year for all of this. <laughs> so many. 
<laughs> so many events, so little dates. So you little. Know, <laughs> you know, once you get somewhere, you're like number fourteen. You're just like, I can't think of any more fucking dates. Yeah, there's only three hundred sixty-five <laughs> days. So many dates. May. I, think, uh, I, I don't did know. You use my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I use like everyone's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> but it just happened to be historical though, because these are real things. So keep going. This really happened. Yes. Yeah. You don't remember October 28, 1775? Well, I do, but maybe the listeners out there do not remember. Well, when the communists of Philadelphia implemented the soda tax to pad their own corrupt pockets, they thought uh, that they could impose this arbitrary rule into the annals of Delco. Nobody's sticking anything in our annals. No. Keep it out of our annals. At least spit on it first. I don't even do annal. <laughs> annal will cost you more. <laughs> Oh boy. By the way, this whole time, people are giving us great recipes for homeless people. <laughs> Do we have an Instant Pot one? We, no, but we have uh, Ooh, homeless, homeless people in the Instant Pot sounds delicious. A little bit of hot sauce on the homeless goes a long way. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and Melissa Pepper fried them for five minutes. They get that nice smoky flavor. <laughs> You also just burn them with their own crack pipe. It's the same scent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't grow your Keep own going. crack pipe. Anyways, Anyways, speaking of annals, um, Philadelphia started taxing sugary drinks within the confines of Ridley Township, with the people of the county having no say. The Ridley Raiders knew how to strike them back and dumped gallon after gallon of Swiss Farms tea cooler into the Ridley Marina, knowing it could flow down to the down the Delaware River south and clogged the pipes at the refinery, making it blow up in the middle of last night. <laughs> remember blow up? Yes, uh, I, I remember. You know, in 1775. Yeah, in 1775. Yeah. Uh, and crippling. It was a very slow was, process. Yeah, it took so much up. time. Yeah. It's like Old Yeller. I mean, uh, Old uh, <laughs> it, it, it gave old it, Faithful. So it it sounded like yeah. the dog that got shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you ever jerked so, off to Old Yeller? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. In my defense, <laughs> I was yes. watching a bump fight that ended before I did, <laughs> and then Old Yeller was on there, <laughs> and he just kept on barking. And he barking. said, "No, Dad, and it's so my dog." I was like, "Wow!" They said, "Club him." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> Is that how Old Yeller died? He got clubbed. I don't know. <laughs> and you're sitting there beating your dick on the TV. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This Listen, it was dial-up time. Things were slower. <laughs> I only had a 56K. <laughs> I, I, I had to do something. I knew the phone was going to ring soon. I was going to get disconnected. My spank from... bank was on low at that time. <laughs> anyway, the refinery blows up, and it crippled the oil supply needed by Philadelphia. The act of defiance worked, as it gave a disproportionate amount of Philadelphians diabetes... And with the closure of Hanneman Hospital, they had nowhere to be treated. Philadelphia fell to shambles as Delco reigned supreme. Everybody got indigestion. <laughs> you ever drink a lot of tea cooler? Ooh. Yeah, you get kidney stones. Oh, yeah. God. You ever had a kidney stone? Nope. One time in my <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Old Yeller! <laughs> uh, uh, keep going. <laughs> I don't know how I don't have diabetes. Like, literally, like I literally don't know. I, I wondered the same thing myself. Not you, but about... <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why you don't have diabetes either. Yeah. But kind of both. I meant both, I guess. Another day, no diabetes. I just keep eating Milky Way after Milky Way, and it's just not happening. I'm like, fuck you, diabetes. <laughs> um, a, p a famous scene I saw at the art museum. In the zero times I went to the art museum. Oh, is that museum. where the bomb was jerking off during a fight? Well, I showed him a really good... I showed him Old Yeller. Okay. No wonder why he couldn't control himself. Dad, it's my dog. It's mine now. You ever jerk off the Homeward Bound? Dude, that's gross. Okay, no, in my defense. Yeah. Listen, there's lines, and they can be crossed, and you just did. Alright, so... Not to beat a dead horse. The Brave Little Toaster? <laughs> you know dangerous. that that electric blanket has had spajuj in it. I don't know, man. Yeah, those yeah, electric blankets about... get hot. Yeah, you don't have that on. Now. Yeah, <laughs> low setting. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of moisturizer. Yeah, that that sounds like taint burn written all over it. 
Would you fuck the toaster? <laughs> is it plugged in? <laughs> does it matter? <laughs> yeah. It does matter. It Electrocution matters. matters. It matters. <laughs> a famous scene that uh, is probably going to be considered racist by Nike one day. <laughs> <laughs> When George Washington crossed the Darby Creek. Oh, oh yes. It was a uh, great time. 250, 240 something years ago tomorrow. Did you take your shoes off? What's up? <laughs> Did you take your shoes off? What, is, what does that mean? He was talking about counting. It's like 240 something there. years ago okay. tomorrow, okay. July 3rd, 1776. There you go. <laughs> the British had came. <laughs> Is it, see, you can't do it on the top of your head. Okay, no. 247 years ago. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. What year? 1776. Well, think about it. When is the All Star Game coming to Philly? To 243 yeah, years ago? That would be 250 years. So, yeah. 243 years ago. Yeah. George Washington crossed the Derby Creek. Okay. Uh. The British had set up camp along Westchester Pike well before the Irish moved in and booted them out. George Washington was moving westward from Camden because he, of how horrible it was. <laughs> he had just gotten over a midsummer bout of gonorrhea he contracted from a, a random thought at Tailgaters. Uh, wait, wait, is that the right place? The right, the right place you got that he got the uh, stid from. Oh, I just wanted to insult Tailgaters. Oh, okay. <laughs> now this is this is uh, this isn't factually. Correct. I thought it was. I don't, I don't know. If it, Most of it is. Yeah, I, it smells that way. It's a seven-story. <laughs> 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 Hey, Cannon was just that bad back then. Um, yeah, he contracted gonorrhea from a random thought of tailgaters. It was not protocol at the time to attack in the middle of the night, but on this fateful evening, General Washington put on his floaties. It's like, fuck protocol. <laughs> <laughs> and he crossed the Darby Creek right behind Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital into Alden and ambushed the British on the dance floor at the Columbus Club oh. right before last call at 4 a.m. Were they British or just <laughs> really drunk? They were drunk Irishmen. Oh, okay. His Uber driver, simply named Q, was promoted <laughs> to a five-star review. I'm sorry, I thought that line was so much more fucking clever than it was. I wrote these so- No, I wrote these while drinking a King Cobra 40 last night. Uh, that's there you so go. terrible, I can only get through a quarter. Is that what it. they call them? Yeah, that's, what, that's, the Camden, that's Camden juice. When in Camden. <laughs> when in Camden do as the Camdenites do. How do I stalk on Instagram? I mean, on uh, Snapchat. Snapper chat? a tutorial here. Okay, like I literally, I need map? to know how to creep. Like is it less stalkish if a girl shows you how to do it? I work better at it, so it. Yeah, true. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Pretty bad. It's good. Either way, it works. It works. Yeah, like how? Do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, the most recent event on here. <laughs> this one's actually true, which is sad. I probably shouldn't make fun of it. But yeah, we can make fun of it. The Great Barnaby's Fire of 2017. Oh, May 8, 2017. The actual date. The night began like any night at Barnaby's Havertown. Hundreds of 26-year-old Haverford women wearing rompers and flocks of predator pillheads seeing who can wear the tightest shirt to impress them. An unknown danger was lurking, not in the basement bar that night, but in the bushes. Apparently fake... Cloth mulch is somehow flammable, and as a disregarded camel crush found its way into it, an overnight smoldering set off an inferno that Delco has seen since the clap epidemic of 2014. Ugh. The building was torched, cars were melted, lives were altered. It took months for the venue to rise from the ashes like a phoenix, and real mulch was used for the new shrubbery. <laughs> well, think about it. One burnt down and rose from the ashes, the other one... Didn't even uh, get catch on fire and can't open if its life depended on it right now. Yep. It's because they don't have no mulch. Well, you are buying it. We're buying it. Let's let's take a quick break and uh, give uh, give the uh, the news here before we move on with the rest of your historical events. Okay. Are, are you alright with that? You, <laughs> yeah. You, you, you seemed a little bit a little perturbed by me asking of such things. Uh, number one, here, I'll, Holbrook, you handle the other one. I'll do this one. No. And the green screen screwed it up. But whatever. It's because there's green on it now. Yes, that's what I figured out. Thank you. So save the date. Uh, this is the first time that Delco Live is actually being asked to go to a country club. We're not being kicked that's out. That's true. We're not yes. being kicked out. Um, July 11th, it's a Thursday, Springfield Country Club. Uh, the tee-off 
Against Cancer, the second annual tee off against cancer. Uh, run, it's for the Headstrong Foundation, which of course was the benefactor of so Delco Rocky Day. didn't win and Rocky won, but he won at the second annual Rocky. Yep. Yep. And we also will be giving our check to the Headstrong for the Delco Day funds that day as well at the How much is it, Al? Fifteen thousand. You got it to fifteen thousand? Fifteen thousand. A little, not exactly, it's like 15 one or something like that. I don't have the exact number. So, if you were rounding, it would be 20,000. No, it would still be 15. Round to the nearest town. So, if yeah. it was Price is Right, it would be 20,000. Yes! Yes! Yes. Uh, so, you can go to pledge.headstrong.org slash cancer 2 if you want to get a foursome or somehow donate towards the cause, of course. And then we have another one. You want to handle that one? Who's golfing in it, Al? Uh, I believe you, uh, our boy Joe McGee over at the McGee Hospitality Group, and a couple other uh, participants from the Headstrong Foundation. We're going to win. You're going to win? Yeah. You're, you're going to call it right now? Is it one of those? Are you going to go out like Babe Ruth it with your golf club, like just point randomly into a random area? Is it, one, is it one of those best ball tournaments? Uh, I don't have all that information. We can win. We can win. Okay. We're going to win. I'll put a bounty on any of like, I'll, I'll, I'll Oh, we're going to do a bounty now? Yeah, bounty. Ba bounty gate Delco style? Dude, go to fucking Harris Chester and literally put down money that we're going to win. I did do okay. I'll bet $15,000. I, I will tell you that I, I am not. Al, we're getting to $30,000. Okay. I know how. Okay. I'll put $15,000 if anyone went down. If, if anyone think, can beat if us. If you think about this. Hold on, this might be the most. We should bet all the charity money we raise. Hold on, this might be the most ingenious idea ever. If you tell people that we bet all the charity money on uh, on you winning, then they'll have they're going to have to lay down to you, so you will a win and b double your money. Well, we got the thirty thousand. Hollow Temple <laughs> University <laughs> one honorary marketing degree. Yeah, and uh, guess what? I am golfing now because if I know I'm going to win, I'll play. No, well, <laughs> you're winning now. Yes. Uh, you want to hit the other one up? No. What is it? The one from I wanted to drink a beer. Okay, this one's a sad one. Yeah, but it's helpful to help out a Del Cody in here. But it's sad. Okay. Let me roll the, the music a little bit. Go ahead. Let's play sad music. I said let me lower the yeah, music. Yeah, uh, with happy music. God. So we had a uh, fan reach out to us. Yes. Tough spot with a family member. Yes. Very unfortunate spot with a family member. Correct. Didn't make the news. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Right. Correct. It didn't make the news, right? Do I need to say correct after every yeah, pause? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, make me good. feel like I'm fucking not crazy. All right, cool. So, uh, Joseph Thomas Galk. Okay. 28 years old. Remember when we were 28? Yep. I was drunk the whole time, but I remember it. I you was told I was there. Aren't you? Huh? You're 28, aren't you? I'm 30. You're my age. You're 42. Uh, 36, but yeah, keep going. Yeah. 28. It's young. It's young. But I got the body of a 52-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> 28. Just think about where you were. 28. I'm thinking. 28. Okay. I'm there. I'm, I'm there. I got it. 28. 28. 28. 28. Delco, 28. 28. Remember you at 28. Just think about being 28. Life's all ahead of you. Or at least you're like in the bad part and life's going to be ahead of you. 28. Thomas, uh, Joseph Thomas Galk is a lifelong resident of Delco. He is an outgoing husband and father of three girls. Three girls, 28. He's also one of four siblings, much like most of us here, except Jim's one of like four, one six. of 40. You're one of two. two. You're one of nine. Three. I'm one of four. 28. And an uncle of many nieces and a nephew. On the early morning of Sunday, June 23rd, 2019, that means a Saturday into a Sunday. Recently. I got it. Actually, you, you, that was last weekend. What? June 23rd. No. Yeah, it was last weekend. It was weekend. the weekend before last. It was last weekend Whatever. was like the 27th or Fine, 28th. the previous weekend. Joseph Thomas Gauck, 28. He was struck head-on by another driver. The driver was under the influence. He had been out late, dri been out late driving for a rider service in an effort to make extra money. Because he has three kids. He's 28. He was thrown from the driver's seat into the passenger foot area. I guess he got hit from the side and then went all the way over the middle console. They don't make boo seats anymore. That had to have been pretty shitty. 
Uh, caused a fractured wrist, which is already bad enough, but that's not it. It caused a fractured wrist, bleeding and swelling in the brain, ligament damage to the neck, wow. as well as a slight fracture to the spine. Wow. So the wrist is already enough to fucking do it. Then you go to the brain, which then becomes the bad part. Ligament damage in the neck is never great. And then a fracture in the fucking spine. Immediately after the accident occurred, he was rushed to Chester Crozier, where he was evaluated immediately and then rushed back to have a bolt put into his fucking head to measure his inter inner cranial pressure. ICP. An even worse ICP than Insane Insane Clown, Clown Posse. After that, he was then transferred to the Surgical Trauma CICU. He continues to be monitored every single day. Currently, he cannot advocate for himself due to being unresponsive and hooked up to a vent on life support. He has severe traumatic brain injury. His brain was hit with such an impact there was no way to determine what was affected the most. Each day brings highs, lows, good and bad. Just when we take one step forward, we get knocked back three more. It is still touch and go, and it's going to be a long, hard road ahead of him. But if you know Joe, you know he's a fighter. He will never be the same again, as we have been told by many doctors this far, and we won't know what extent he will be different until much more, more pr progress has been made. And we don't know how long that's going to take. His family continues to be by his side daily. His wife and mother have not missed a day yet, along with siblings and immediate family coming each day. Our looks for the future are yeah, looks for the future are that Joe will continue to fight and get better, but it will take time, patience, love, and a strong will. Unfortunately, even though we can hope and pray at any point, it can go either way. The doctors continue to do everything and anything in their power to make sure he's taken care of, calm and comfortable. That's from Paula Coulter. His wife Amanda worked at the postal office and has taken a uh, leave of family absence. And we are trying to raise money for Joe's medical bills and to take care of his three kids' wife and medical bills. The purpose of this is that there's a GoFundMe. And we don't take in every GoFundMe that comes to us, but this is definitely one. You can go to it at GoFundMe.com backslash F backslash Suffering Family in Need. Yeah. We can put that on. Yeah, we'll throw that up there for you, but, uh, we, you know, we try to do a little, even though we're a little goofy, a little funny, a little silly here, a little, just a little bit, we try to help out where we can. Uh, we help through humor. Yes. I don't know, we do ridiculous things to help people. Laughter is the yeah. best medicine. That's what they it say. Is. Or something. I heard Patch Adams or Rob Williams say that one time. It somebody, is. Somebody said that yeah. once. Yes. Before. Right. Didn't you say it, Jim? I usually say yeah, it. I was going to say it. People say that. Yeah. So... Down. The thing about it is that, yeah, we stressed this with Delco Day with Headstrong, and we stressed it with when that mummer thing happened on New Year's, where the one dude got killed, and the yes. wife's bad, and, like, other people and all that shit. And that's the worst part, is you kind of forget shit. This traumatic shit that we literally, I am trying to remember every detail of that story, and I can't remember it. And yeah. I want to do everything yeah. I can to do it. The problem with it is, is that sometimes you forget about it. And that's the one thing, is that those people in January are still dealing with this every day. These people are going to be dealing with it every day. It's not just you go like, oh, that sucks, here's $10. It keeps going. Remember I freaked out one day, I'm like, I don't care what you do, Delco. Go, go shovel the sidewalk or cut them on. Have we done it? No. Have I done it? No. I forgot all about it. So that's the one thing is you got to stay vigilant with it. So they're going to need money down the, down the long road. The missing work, he's not working. She's not working. You know, they got kids and shit. It's the summer. You Who's taking care of them in the summer? At least in the school year, you can send them to school for a couple hours a day and shit. I don't know. That sucks. And it listen, sucks. I, listen, I can imagine having to miss a week or two worth of work and, and not understand what my bills and everything would be like on top of medical bills, having that many kids. Um, so this has got to be a really tough time for them. So if you can help out, what I'm going to do is right here, right now, I'm going to put actually the link that I got in the page here right into... The, uh, the feed here in the comments. So if you want to help out, you can do it right now. We, you could talk about it. Yeah, we just don't have anything up for you yet. Oh, we could talk about it. Go for it. You're the, you're the brainchild here, pal. Well, Coulters, like we said, we do ridiculous things. On August 2nd, one month from today, we're doing another ridiculous thing. And it's called the Delco Masters. 
and it is uh, a putt-putt tournament that is the Ryder Cup, where the first 36 people that sign up uh, get matched up into 18 two-person teams. Lowest score between the two, is that how he goes there? Is you team up and the team with the lowest score wins the Ryder Cup? Yes? Pretty well, that's sure. what we're doing in figure Delco. We'll figure it out. You have to literally dress like it is a professional golf course. You cannot drink on the course, but we'll throw an answer party afterwards. And we don't have a home for the chair. It's obviously for charity. It's something we do. Mm -hmm. So we can send all this, I mean all that, to this. So why don't we just make them the beneficiaries of the uh, Delco Masters? Well, I think Paul is on the, the comments thread here, so I think she heard you, and we can make that happen. Okay, now. and that's an open challenge to all of you, Delco. Is that in the next week or so? Can we do that in the next week? We can do the sign-ups? We'll have the uh, event out, we'll have the sign-ups out, and the graphics out for it. And so it's yeah. a Friday night. It's a Friday night. We've already talked to Pop Pot. It's a Friday night. you got to be there signed up by 7.30. That's when we pick the random teams. The first drop is a shotgun start at 8.30, and you're going to be on one of the pup pup courses. And I swear to God, you have to wear, like, a Jeff cap, um, a skort. Uh, there's, a uh, there's, a, there's a Models right next door. Yes, so if, you if you need, need golf funny. clubs, golf they got it. Yes. gloves, uh, yes. golf anything, you can get it. You can. The only thing that you have the freedom to can, do is pick the color of your ball. Can I, um, can I dress like Tiger Woods and have as many hookers? Yes. With me at all times? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. You can be cool. as ridiculous as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. You just have to be dressed to the occasion. You have to be sober. We were told that very strictly. Fine. Yeah. And it's $50 to sign up. Is it stri- <laughs> Okay. What? We Never mind. <laughs> How, How strict are we talking? <laughs> I'm bringing a bondage BDS and M bondage uh, whipper with me. Yeah, if, yeah. if, if actually Papa was smart, they would let me get drunk because I get less creative because I just get really lazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna show up in a full human centipede. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm the middle. That, that's, 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 that's not a squirt. That's not a squirt. A squirt. You said you had to wear a squirt. Yeah, you have to wear a squirt or human centipede in a squirt. Uh, all right. It's a lot. So question question is, who has the worst position in the human pet centipede? The, the last. Uh. Yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, but yeah, because you get no yeah, satisfaction. Fun stuff. You get yeah. you eat shit and nobody's licking your butt. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought that was the worst. At least the middle Great. person's got a balance. So, the Delco Masters. Yes. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. And we're cutting it to 36 because we want the 36 that are going to take this very, se very seriously by our standards. And there's going to be a trophy, and there's going to be an after party, and the first 36 to sign up are in it. And I swear to God, it's going to be the most prestigious trophy ever given out in this fucking town. Is it Uncle Spiggy talking about a fucking mattress? Yes, no. <laughs> what <laughs> is it, Al? You're half right. It's Uncle Spiggy's. If you need hookers, Al, just let us know. I mean entertainers. <laughs> they said no alcohol. They did not say anything about strippers. This is true. Like, literally. I remembered it very well. Yes. Well, entertainers. Dancers. Entertainers. Yes. <laughs> strippers. In scores. No. I want full we, we prostitutes. Always, we always tend to find that legal loophole. Yes. <laughs> come, come, uh, you see us at Holbrook McLomans, Very. We will always find your legal hole <laughs> and pound it. <laughs> Sold. Sold. They said no drinking. They didn't say anything about needles. We'll have an after party. There's going to be a definitely an after yeah, party. We'll have more sponsors. Party. Did you just yeah. say they didn't say anything about needles? <laughs> anything about needles. <laughs> uh, did they say anything about the parking lot after party? Planet Fitness party. Pre-party. Oh, yeah. We, Planet dude, Fitness. Dude, can we just sit there and drink like in the window of all the people on the treadmills? at the While we eat the, pizza? Just watch yeah, us drink drinking beer. Wait, oh, don't they have pizza. pizza on Fridays? Mondays. Monday. Oh, it's Mondays. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm sure they'll make. we can make something happen. All right, I, I was at Planet Fitness one time. Just one time. And they had hoagies there one time, which was a really bad idea because the whole place smelled like onions after a while and sweat. It was going to because you were going there anyway. Yeah. Probably yeah. Like it was probably just. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure so I know how offended to be. <laughs> you and your Betsy Ross flag. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the Delco Masters. There's a bomb dropped onion. We'll give all this money to the Coulter slash Galks. Uh, well, Jesse Coulter's here online, and they're saying thank you. So, yeah, we'll get in touch with you guys and let you know how this is all going to work out. Um, and then we'll definitely, yes, whatever whatever uh, proceeds we can raise, we'll send it to them. I'm winning this tournament, too. <laughs> we're going to set up the tournament, and we're going to win it. <laughs> like, and it's, there's not going to be any question about it. They're going to be like, damn, that dude's fucking good at mini putt. Do I have to do, like, the announcer guy? Like, and, uh, yes. Hold Brooks up at the... Yes. The north, uh, the third hole here. Oh, we're visibly sweating out Black House from last night. He, for some reason, is 
licking the rim <laughs> of the hole. Uh, he seems very confused right now. He's, <laughs> he seems very distracted by a homeless person on the course. Oh. <laughs> He's licking his lips. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulled out hot sauce. I hope so. <laughs> Why is he carrying a fork around on that? <laughs> we haven't seen that since the, since the homeless parade of 1999. Can't we bring the smoker? <laughs> Yeah, sure, dude, who the fuck not? cares? Yeah, dude, yeah, it's a party. We're gonna give all the money to this. I'm winning a trophy. <laughs> Whoever I'm teamed up with, yo, that's what I got. If you end up teamed up with me, like, I'm going so to So, are we gonna do the myself. random team up? Yeah. So, you can't say, like, alright, so I'm gonna pick you and you're gonna be my teammate. We'll pick it out of our fucking lottery you machine. Nice! That thing's gonna come in handy twice! Twice! Yes, there we go. Well, twice! That's what like we always bring up. Like ha! Time. See that, Mom? I didn't waste my money. See that guidance counselor? Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's another phrase I bring up a lot recently. Do you think of do you ever think of how dirty the phrase "come in handy" is? <laughs> I did it until just yeah, now. Yeah. Wow! Until Thank you. I always like, try to make the sure. The worst I, part of thing is I said that to a little kid recently. Now it seems yeah, that and you're way. always so excited when you say it, like, "Yeah, that'll come in handy." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah oh, man! Oh Jesus! See, my that. last, my last bit of innocence is now removed. Yeah. Oh man! Now, now I gotta think back of all like the little sayings and. Now I'm just gonna start using it more. A bird in the hand is worth two in the annals. <laughs> oh, oh god, that is terrible. <laughs> Joke that is. Um, trying to think. Oh my god, I don't like any of these. Can we can we move on now? Penny Sage makes your pee burn. <laughs> Well, actually, if you do swallow pennies, it will make your pee burn. Fun I've never been that hungry yet, Al. That's great. Fun fact. That's great. Learned that when I was 13. The homeless don't have change on them. <laughs> so we, we got more... Uh, a homeless person in Center City asked me last year. They said, you got any... Uh, can I get a dollar? And I said, Center City, man, no one carries cash. And he goes, you can Venmo me. And I was like, number one, fuck you. Number two, fuck you. Well, <laughs> like, number the homeless are asking for Venmos now. Yeah. That's awesome. We basically got the little card swipe for his the, yeah. the square that they have. Just, yeah. just swipe right here, sir. It's like you're, I'm like, you're such a piece. Instead of a cup. Like, how do you have a idea. phone, but oh. that's brilliant? Yeah. Well, a lot of them have, like, the pay-as-you-go phones. The sure. Obama phones? Yeah. And you can get smart pay-as-you-goes now. It's not just flip phones. You know what they say about pay-as-you-go, Al? Comes in handy. It comes in handy. <laughs> it comes in handy. <laughs> All right, back to your very historical, very accurate... Uh, Pop quiz, hotshot. Who won the first ever Delco Masters? Uh, you. Me in 30 days, Al. Yeah. Let's see there with the trophy. <laughs> I get my name put on. Even if you beat me, Did it's you gonna just, say my are you just, name. I feel like you're gonna spray paint the floppiest dildo gold as the trophy. The floppiest. It's just like one that just sits there and goes the back strongest. Out. I know there's no video right now. It's just. Imagine <laughs> it's just gonna it's go like a windshield that? wiper, <laughs> just a windshield wiper of dick. <laughs> oh my god, we should go around replacing. Why did you dick? just turn into a Wisconsin woman? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, think about it. We can go around replacing people's wipers with dil floppy dildos. You can replace anything with a dildo, Al. <laughs> try hard, try enough. hard enough to believe Carrie, in yourself. Carrie, <laughs> is any anything's a butt plug if you believe in yourself? <laughs> gotta try this. So you gotta put some effort behind it. Yeah, can't just. That was uh, the quote of 2017 that came on the last day of the year. <laughs> That's not okay. dirty when you said it. You were there. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, it was I like December it was. 30th or something. Uncle Spiggy said they would sponsor the trophy. Perfect. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fucking happening. No, that's fucking happening. Oh, what the trophy? You know, the shirts they sent us, by the way. I didn't. I didn't we didn't wear them, but so I want to thank you for the shirts that we are, that you have sent us. So we'll wear what if the, the trophy we'll is the, the Uncle show. Spiggy's logo? And a gift card to Uncle Spiggy's. But it only can be redeemed in 2029. It's actually a Chuck E. Cheese. I was crossed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the signing of the Manuscript of Independence? Uh, no. I I mean, I wasn't there, but keep going. September 26, 1789. Yes. It's the actual birthday of Delco. It's an actual real day. It actually is the same start of our podcast. It yes. Is. September 26th. It said it was 200 and... Um, and um, and, uh, and um, X amount of days can later. We just do a show where Holbrook, I give him math problems. Simple math. And he just has yeah. to do it. Because my company will watch and go, like, this is our fucking uh, numbers wizard. He can't literally fucking do simple math. What's so, seven plus two? So you you get the simple math. Nine I'll take 11. the simple math. You can take the reading stuff. That's where I sell. <laughs> yeah. 9 11. The manuscript Nine. of independence. As Delco and Chesco began a pass passive aggressive feud like two horrible roommates delco had drawn up an ultimatum 
that it wrote out with its friend who could have been a lawyer, but things came up, but they've seen a lot of Law and Order, so they could probably handle it. The, the article was known as the Manuscript so of Independence, right. and when Chesco refused to come to terms with its demands, Delco organized its troops and left Chesco in the dust. The day is one of the greatest days in the history of the world, and the second most important day in Delaware County history after Delco Day. What words demands? Oh, yeah. What words demands, Hot Shots? What? What were the demands in the Manuscript of Independence? What were the demands? Yeah, what did Delaware County demand Chester County do before it rolled out? Piss off. Okay. Really not have to be one Take Turkey them. Hill with them. Yeah. They tell it to S it's D. Yeah, S, S, S my, it's D. S my D. I'm a decent bees down in uh, Delco. Because yeah, my rents ain't home. <laughs> yeah. What else? She S my D for 30 se- for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> What hey, the- because crawling up in Clifton, they want to just get your DS for how long it took. Yeah. Yo, she, 35 minutes. She was on that thing for like 12 minutes, yo. <laughs> um, what else? What, what else were in there? Um, I believe the original Constitution, but it was later amended, was that there was no baking of your own bread in any Wawa. But I think they amended that one, I believe. And then they said, yeah, it's cheaper than actually getting Amorosos. Yeah. It's pretty bad when you go, man, at least they're being baked in Wawa. Can't be any worse than Amoroso is by itself, right? Amoroso's shit. Well, Wawa said, hold my beer. (laughs) (laughs) Hold my confectioner oven. (laughs) (laughs) Hold it. Let's do this. Everyone remembers this great day. I see it, you know, posted everywhere. See reenactments of it all over. (laughs) When Charles Morton defies British rule on, on Route 420, January 4th, 1812. A simple man, a dairy farmer and butcher, Charles Charlie Morton, not to be confused with the pitcher that was terrible for the Phillies, then almost World Series MVP for the Astros, ran a small mess hall on 420 that served as patented beef and cheese combination on a roll. When the British attempted to occupy the area, they were overwhelmed by his product's flavor and juiciness and could no longer defend themselves. His name and product, he named his product The Burger and has gone on to sell Charlie's Burgers since that day. His t- the town next to his location was named Morton in his honor. God bless you, yeah. sir. God you guys bless you. I, I am Lily. You can't see me on it. I am tearing up right now. Speechless. And it has nothing to do with the gonorrhea. <laughs> we're we're gonna need uh, the listener's help because I only wrote eight out of the twelve or the twenty. Oh well, let me put the. Uh, here we go. Phone Back. lines up. Phone lines are open. Forty four two five. This one I started nine, reading. Nine, this one I started writing and literally fell asleep mid sentence. <laughs> Hold on, I would I would I can't imagine. Keep going. Where it just stops. We have to finish this one. This one is called. It's from 1861. Okay. Johnny Suboxin rapper <laughs> walks the county, dropping Suboxin rappers on the sidewalks. Much like Johnny Appleseed walking around the Midwest, dropping apple seeds, inadvertently planting millions of trees. Blank. <laughs> I was like, what would Johnny Suboxin rapper do? That's it. Off to sleep. That's it. Yeah. He uh, he <laughs> walked down McDay Boulevard, dropping his patented Suboxone wrappers, and, and, then, uh, and then like all the local townsfolk would take pictures on their mobile phones yes. and complain about it on group uh, town groups on social media. Then I they would imagine. Was, then they would Snapchat. Yeah. Snapper <laughs> chat. The they would Snapchat with no, um. Gunshots or fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just remember, Suboxone isn't clean, and your streets aren't either. If there's Suboxone wrappers on them. Oh well. Before you move on to the next one, speaking of fireworks, um, we're we're hosting the Clifton Heights fireworks again. We're 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 DJing, I guess you want to call it for lack of better words. Uh, for legal purposes, we have to say we're DJing. Yeah, yes, we're DJing. Uh, the so we're charging the town so much money for us to work. Four hundred thousand. You think that school's dollars. expensive? Wait till you see our fucking building. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, and guess what? Here's another thing. It could and probably is going to be the last year that the fireworks happen there. Uh, so definitely come out because we're gonna curse because we're not gonna be fucking higher next year. Yeah, fucking pussies. <laughs> I don't even. Know. I was so afraid where that might have went. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was really. Like, what was gonna be more racist than this right shoulder? <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> if you think the Betsy Ross flag's bad, why don't you show up to the fireworks on the fourth? <laughs> No no, 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 but I will tell you no. one thing. I will punch you in the vagina if you fucking go on the Clifton Heights 
Facebook page and go, Oh, the fireworks are so bad when you didn't even pay to see them. Or you were fucking slug. You were four blocks away and you saw the tops over the houses of the fireworks. That's my favorite. Last year we played like two hours of nonstop patriotic music and a fucking jerk off decided to go, oh, Fucking DJs are terrible. They didn't play any patriotic music. Because you couldn't hear it from your mom's basement, you <laughs> fucking pedo. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or people who like to go set off their own in the- Our music was touching like those kids that you touched, you fucking pedo. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the guy who was a couple fields away who decided to start off his own fireworks and compete. With you ain't fireworks. gonna win! Yeah. No. You fucking pedo! No, yeah, but if you think your, your fireworks are better, why don't you just, instead of making the town pay for fireworks, why don't you just come up and do your display in the field? And there you go. We dare you. We dare you. I'm going to say, Pop, that the 4th <laughs> of July in Clifton, when, when do we start? Like, 7? Uh, no, no, no. The, the fireworks are like around 9.30. When do 9 we 15. start? Probably start around 8.30. Someone may call the cops just to let them know that it's too fucking patriotic <laughs> yeah. down there. Not all much your mercy. I love America uh, too much right yeah. now. Um, yes, I'm calling about all the patriotism flowing from Clifton Field right now. Everyone is actually turning red, white, yeah. and blue like a yeah. giant throbbing patriotic boner. Yeah. God bless my, my wife is orgasming from all the <laughs> raging patriotism that is running from Clifton Field right now. I can't stop cheering. There's a guy that looks like Guy Frary that threw up the American flag. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling about how his tattoo isn't racist. Yeah. <laughs> He swears it's not racist. Yeah. <laughs> Who put this man a white cloth? Yeah. <laughs> that tattoo didn't come in handy. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, it's probably going to be the most patriotic thing that's ever happened. Imagine Independence Day with uh, Will Smith and Bill Pullman, but uh, it's in Delco, so it's even more patriotic. I say you write that speech, but more Delco-ish, as a lead-off to the fireworks. Fine. Fine. Because I will cry. <laughs> There's going to be Fine. so much cursing in it, though. That's all right. There's going to be so many wet cheeks <laughs> because of the speech. If it rains that night, it's only because God's crying tears of joy. <laughs> He's raining the awesomeness down upon the entire land. Yeah. If it rains, I will start doing mudslides out into the fireworks. I remember when it rained about three or four Fourth of Julys ago. I made it to the newspaper because Clifton was the only was the only town that continued its uh, parades during the rain. In the morning, afternoon time, and yes, rain, sleet, or snow. It's the only time there. most of those folks got a shower that year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's my flannel's been in years. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> what, what happens if that Too fucking far. bird shows up? Uh, the Delcro. That. Whew. I'm gonna be Get scared. I'm gonna spray painted red, white, and blue. <laughs> It's gonna show up with sparkling yeah. in his mouth and be like, I'm, "It's gonna be, it's gonna be clutching like little, little like M80s or something." It's gonna bring a bunch dropping of, it on the crowd, bring a bunch of bald eagles with it. Dude, I really thought that thing was animatronic. It did not move. It didn't blink. I thought it was one of Quantas drones. <laughs> it was not scared. It had no problem you coming I right up. I went to home it. with you. Oh yeah, I mean, I think Holbrook like copped a feel on it and it just sat there and let it, it wouldn't happen. jump on my shoulder. It would let me touch it, but it wouldn't jump on my so shoulder. Gross. Like it's funny. Very much that of Turks. Right before the video went on, the the <laughs> Delcro bit Holbrook, and then it died three seconds, three minutes after the video was over. It's the first crew to get the clap. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <was> patient zero? <laughs> Holbrook's patient zero in this. Yeah. 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 First crew I ever diagnosed with HPV. <laughs> Is that Uncle Spiggy's? Well, no, whatever happened to the Delco IDs, they're coming out soon too, guys. We're going to wait closer to the fall to drop them. We have ideas. No, Delco IDs. Yeah, we have ideas. Yes, it's going to be, it's gonna <laughs> be quite ideas. awesome. Yeah, they're, they're, trust me, we'll have them by Christmas of 2018. Okay, <laughs> Whatever we come up with. It. Yeah. I know. We're getting them. We're, we have so many good ideas, we don't have to do that yet. Join the Delco Masters. Yeah. It goes to charity. And then that can help us get enough... Lever leverage to buy the ID printer. ID printers are expensive, by the way. Yeah, by the way, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the kind of the holdup. Um, <laughs> unless there's a sponsor out there who wants to be part of it and pay for that part, we'll get them out quicker. You know, I'll put it out there. It'd be a great thing. Is that it? That's what you're gonna bring to the table, huh? It'd be a it great, would be a great. It'll be a great thing. It's not wrong. Uh you. 
big, you, sir. B- big fan of a uh, big fan of law. Okay. Uh, you know, I wanted to go to law school to be a lawyer. Things just didn't work out. Okay. Got Politics. Speak. Yeah, you know, I, was, <laughs> I, I could have started if the uh, if I didn't blow my knee in the championship out. Okay. Yeah, the coach, you know, didn't. It wasn't all politics. The son's, the coach's son was on the team. Ah, uh, yeah, politics. Yeah, no, I didn't go to law school because I was stupid. Some people call it politics, other people call it Percocets. But yeah, <laughs> like a cut up in details. Nah, dude, sounds was, like a soccer dude, song. Four Percocets. You it. should write this down. That sounds like a great lyric, by the way. <laughs> Percocets rash me, dude. It's all about Viking it, man. Make, <laughs> make that brain tingle like a bunch of little kittens are giving you a massage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you actually made it like... Right now, half our eyes is going like, yeah, fucking yeah, right, good. man. <laughs> I think the one dude from Rainbow comes up to me, and he was just like, he's like, yo, man, you bring up the Falcon Center a lot, man. I was class of 04. <laughs> I was like, class of 04. I was like, me you too. He's like, so, oh, yeah, man. We basically you know you're so dull, kind of like... Rehab class. We're rehab combat classes. <laughs> I mean, then went to school. I was a uh, valedictorian valedict- <laughs> yeah. of my class. From what I was told. Relapse of Victorian. <laughs> uh, Relapse of Victorian. <laughs> all right, here we go. Should we should we do the Delco yearbook? There's all the people from the Falcon Center. Gotta get rings, class rings. No, but I do, want, I do want a Delco yearbook where everyone can fucking write a quote. Okay. We'll do it all that here. would be great. When you get your uh, when you get your Delco ID, you also qualify for signing the Delco yearbook. Yeah. Fuck Al. Fuck. This is a great one. Uh, copyright patent pending. Patent pending. Pen pending. Pen pending. Pen pending. Pen 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 they do steal a lot of stuff from us. It's all right. Let them steal. Can't find the Delco. You talk, you yeah, he's saying you can't find the video. Wait, what's he saying? He means he can't find the Delco Masters. We haven't put it up yet. Yeah, That's what we said. Out. We were we were pre-releasing. We were sneak peek. This is the what taint we call Delco. This is what we call Ooh. bomb drop. Yeah. Uh, the bombs bursting in air. Something there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the, I forgot the national anthem. Sorry. Sorry. Keep going, Mr. Historian. <laughs> we're going to replace Who it with the Who can recall the Delco right. historian? It's not an American historian. No, no. Who can uh, recall the ca- the uh, court case of Roe versus McDade? Oh, I forget. my God. Well, that all started at, uh, what was that called? Abortion Fest? <laughs> it was uh, Fetus Fest. Fetus it Fest. Fetus Fest. Yeah, that's back when, um, when abortions were illegal, and then they had Fetus Fest. And they just said... We don't know what to do with all these fetuses. It established Planned Parenthood as a great Plan B option for after Fetus Fest. Yeah. Um, it was. It's held annually the uh, the first Sunday after the Super Bowl, the day after Fetus Fest. A uh, little RDR history. Let's run history. Do you remember when we first talked about Fetus Fest? And oh, I think I called it Fetus Fest. Um, Fetus remember- Fest, I believe, is my go-to. Yes. And I said, Fetus Fest. Then I said, what was my brilliant I- first brilliant idea? That we were going to wear BD and- no. BDS and M no, outfits no, no. outside of nope. Uh, nope. Fifty Shades of Grey? No, nope. that you were going to have oh, a... a great idea. Was it some kind of abortion thing afterwards? No, or something? I was gonna, oh, sell, I, uh, sell morning after pills. I was going to be at the door selling morning after pills. What a great business plan. Yes. Well, after the uh, the court case of Roe versus McDade... You, Don't let you your child throw your life away. Use drugs. <laughs> Al, I would have probably gone in there and snorted one of those morning after pills <laughs> off the journal. Then he like lose this giant booger out of his nose <laughs> and keep it in a little jar. Abort my sinus. <laughs> <laughs> Had a mucus miscarriage. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow, we are losing sponsors tonight. <laughs> That's what happens when you make me write more than Mayday, more than Mayday, one. We're yeah. coming down. <laughs> <laughs> Al, how, who forget? Who could re- forget where they were? Um, this is a shocking moment. I remember when the news <laughs> cut to it. Is it Uncle Spiggy's? Yes, the Terminator. Do you want to? You want to read that one? No. Yeah. yeah. It says, have we mentioned the Terminator special that we have? Uh, you drop a Plan B into a shot of Jameson into a pint of Guinness. The dancers love it. <laughs> the Terminator. The Terminator. I feel like it would be very effective. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start keeping Plan B on me. That's fucked up, but so brilliant, because I think about when the Terminator dropped T-1000 into the water, the, the liquid metal, and yeah, it works. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with that, sure. but alright. Yeah, yeah, do you remember when you got out of school early, the day that <laughs> the day that there was an assassination of the Wawa Deli meats? Oh my god. It took me about a week, 
or we can have to truly like, will come to grips with that one. National Week of Mourning. I remember visiting the casket in the media courthouse. Oh right. yeah. Before it was taken to Peter. Traffic Peter on the Park Peter Cemetery. On Traffic on the pike was just Shut it down. Yeah. Yeah. Michael Michael Chitwood. It's the only time I see Michael Chitwood cry. That man's a his stone statue, man, but yet that day it happened. It was uh I mean I think it, that made me lose my I was holding it back, but once I saw that, that's when I lost my stuff. shit. It was tough. He, he was he was a real leader that we needed at the time. If anyone recalls, man, the great times of Wild Wild Deli Meats, they used to carve their own meat back there. I don't remember what it was. Maybe Deaton Watson? Was it anything? Anything special? Did you ever jerk off the Deli Meat? Meat? Dude, when you fold ham the right way. <laughs> yes. Now, the phrase ham wallet isn't just, it isn't just two words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Ham bone. <laughs> <laughs> Can we form a Rambone cover band called Hambone? <laughs> wait, wait, all their songs, wait, 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 all their songs, but they're about deli meats now. I was gonna say we're doing a cover band of a cover band now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like sympathy for the devil, but we do a sympathy for the deviled eggs. Yes. Like yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, born, born to roast beef wild. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll work out on that. Yeah. Are you gonna keep going? Or are you just gonna sit <laughs> to here? the next one? Yeah, please. <laughs> Who could forget a great moment? <laughs> oh, God. A great moment in national history. <laughs> October 4th, 1965. The first honk at the Beep Beep Bridge. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. what, um, yeah. what a monumental day. I remember day. seeing my first pictures of the ribbon cutting. And everybody was there. Who could forget yeah. Noel's yeah. Ave just... Covered in Betsy Ross flags and, oh. Nike, and Nike logos. Yeah, it was a beautiful day. I believe they they sent down. Uh, what, what car was the first one to go through? Ah, oh, 1965. Uh, <laughs> Pretty sure it was an 81 Honda something. Yeah. <laughs> it was an 81 Honda Civic. It was an 80, Monster Green. It was an 81 DeLorean. Yeah, great Scott. <laughs> There's the box and wrappers dropped from blimps. Oh, you know, just yeah. Just flying around. It's beautiful. Um, just cash Parents not watching was, children running aimlessly throughout the street. Cash was, was literally day. turning into gold. Yes. You know, for all the cash for gold places. Wawa had the freshest of deli meats. Oh, my God. They were actually just murdering the cows right there. Yeah, right in the Wawa. Right yeah. the like, people would hit the cow on the way in while getting their gas to their vehicles before they went to the BP Bridge. And then they would just slice their sandwich up right there. Beep, beep, right run there. over a, a hog right there and just throw it on the fucking, uh, throw it on your fresh And that's actually roll. where the taste for homeless came in because a couple of people thought the cows, or the homeless were cows, right. shit happened, and it's they sliced them up. Yeah, we've all it's been golfing mistake. before. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Just an order the Wednesday, Wednesday night <laughs> yeah. at the Holbrook residence. <laughs> Who could forget, uh... People think the Louisiana purchase is important. What about the Clifton Field purchase of 1934? Oh, the most still, the, the still most the most debated land in this in this country. It's almost master debated. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna keep going. Yes. It's masterfully debated. <laughs> masterfully debated. Yes. Masterfully debated. Continuously so. Yeah. Oh, when the Upper Darby School rigorously masterfully debated. Masterfully debated. <laughs> When the Upper Darby School Board said, this is Manifest Destiny, yeah. and went out and said, Clifton, let us buy this field. You can still use it, but for some reason we want the contract to it. And Clifton said, well, okay, but we have all these really cool like programs that want to use it. Yeah, don't worry about it. We we'll definitely won't ever build a third middle school on it yeah. that West Philly can go to. Splooge 30 years later. Yeah. <laughs> and Aura. 50, something like that. Yeah. 70. Yeah. 73. 73. What was it, 1936? Yeah, what was the exact date again? Here we are now with people going to court trying to overturn, you know, Roe versus McDade and all this shit. It's tough, man. Everyone's against each other in this county. That's, uh, that's Upper Darby imperialism right there. Yeah, I mean, down with middle schools, down with higher learning. Yeah, I mean, get them out of here. We yeah. don't need them. Yeah. They're not working. What a children we can count the fireworks. Recently. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Needy little rat shit. They can learn numbers at Cal <laughs> Cal Children Bingo. are disease carrying parasites. Oh, the yeah. worst. Did you ever notice that kids and AIDS are just one letter apart? Both sexually transmitted. 
Think about that. Kids are really just an STD. day. No, I don't want the school. My father because... actually growing up had a T-shirt that said, "I suffer from the worst STD." Everything Children. makes a lot of oh, yeah. sense right yeah. now. Everything makes a lot of sense. I um, I don't want this school built because I want I. It would hurt the children. Yeah, well, I learning? want to save this land so that the kids have somewhere to play instead of learn. Yeah. We all know what's, they're not going to. What's more important, math or anyway. cow pie bingo? You know. Yeah, dude, don't take my land of Cal Pipe Bingo and where we DJ the most. Pa- oh, I swear to God, the fourth. I'm, it's gonna people be- will be oozing patriotism. <laughs> we might somehow defeat England again. I mean, I don't think I can make that any worse by, unless I call it moist patriotism. <laughs> the Queen is <laughs> call it what it is. <laughs> the Queen's gonna be woken up in the middle of the night and send an apology. Be like, just stop, stop. We had enough two hundred and forty something years ago. Like, tell your people in Clifton to relax. Yeah. It's it's too patriotic. Yes. We're going to dig up King George the Sixth And butt fuck him. And just be like, you thought <laughs> we were done. <laughs> we're going to go right down the Put annals of history. Cow pie bingo. <laughs> we're going to go right down the annals of history. We're gonna, and write down his we're annals. We're going to butt fuck <laughs> the annals of history. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> then we're going to go to tailgaters and get a, the same strain of STD that George Washington had gotten and then it, what's the, is it a Thursday? Somehow the Columbus Club will be open and we will go there as well. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. God, that is so patriotic it's not even funny. Al, knock knock. Who's there? Not the fucking English. <laughs> you, my friend, are amazing. God, that is so patriotic it's not even funny. Who could ever forget the uh, first national um, transportation tragedy? The sinking of the 102 trolley. No. We never knew. Th- we I never- thought we were trying to keep more upbeat stuff here. We never knew that that's, Drexel that's Hill could flood like that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thousands are perished. We learned that we need lifeboats and, and Narcan on, on, on enough for each uh, passenger sure. on the 102. Sure. At all given times. We need it. But, uh,. That really revolutionized the way the public transportation was used around here. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since that, you have to pay on your way to 69th Street, but have to pay getting off on the way out. Because everybody's got, we, everybody's got to pay to get off, though. Yeah. It's not free. Just oozing patriotism. I mean, if you're a big Civil War buff, you'll remember when Aston seceded from the county in 1861. And they got so drunk and said, fuck it, we're coming back. Yes. I want my CDs. No, they, <laughs> they took the Tom Jones to Brookhaven. <laughs> Fine. I'll put up with you guys for another 60 years, because I want my Maroon 5 CDs back. <laughs> is that what Aston But Aston will rise <laughs> again. Yeah. Aston will rise again when we get back. When we get <laughs> back. <laughs> And she will be loved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, Tim Owens, hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, Smack back. Um, <laughs> bang, bang. And happy birthday, by the way. A little belated. Like, yeah. It's Carrie's birthday this week. Uh, no, what? Is it on the 4th of July? No, it's not. When is it? The 6th. Still pretty patriotic. Yeah, it's pretty close. I want to say you're oozing patriotism on that birthday. Just missed the patriotism. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone will be after the 4th of July. Overshot the patriotism. Field. Yeah, but you will be hung over patriotic at that point. It's, yeah. You would be so paper. patriotic for the two days prior. Still ragingly patriotic from the 4th. Yeah. yeah. It'll I, stay with me for a while. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I, I believe you should go punch an English person in the throat. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. That guy... <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I feel bad for any English people that listening ship right now. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not your fault that you're English, but it is. It sucks should we, to be should English. We find, should we find an English person and just do everything that like Philadelphia sports fans have been blamed for years to them? Like just throw snowballs at them fifty years ago. Maybe yeah. throw D batteries at batteries. them. Batteries. Yeah. Jump in a penalty box and fight them. Uh, maybe skip that one. <laughs> Here's the funny part though. For the last 30 or so minutes, we've been making fun of the English. And that one no, person no. will be upset about it. But your tattoo is racist today. She said it. You do have a racist tattoo. So. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah. Aren't you missing a clan meeting right now? I'm just proving a point here. That Hallberg's got a racist tattoo. Yes. I, yeah. I don't know where I was going with the it's English tough. part. But Colin yeah, Cameron made it pretty clear overnight. Yeah. <laughs> 
I fall asleep. He right woke up over Holbrook in bed. I fall asleep. He looks such a nice guy. He <laughs> fell asleep. I fell asleep. He woke up Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> I fell asleep writing my uh, backstory of Johnny Suboxin rapper. <laughs> and wake up to having a fucking racist tattoo. It's been a Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. It's it's been a it's been a week, Al. It's been a week. Fucking Canada Day. You know that's what it was. Yeah. Because yesterday was fucking Canada Threw Day. Everything off. God damn Blue Jays Canada. didn't even play yesterday. And they call themselves the baseball team. Huh? The Blue Jays didn't play yesterday. Yeah. They should play every Canada Day in Canada. They're the only representative. This is true. Fucking. Toronto Raptors just won a championship. That's it's gotta be for something. Yeah, but Drake is their fan, and Drake is a. Is he Canadian? He's from Toronto. Is yeah. he? I wasn't sure. Sean Paul's from Toronto too. I can find Sean him. Paul. Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Sean Paul. Not from Jamaica. Jamaica. He's from Toronto. Did you know in the car we that I have a Sean Paul CD right now. Uh, I can see that. Just put it on. Oh my god! Is it Uncle Spookies? <laughs> yes. Uh, Paula, from earlier. Paula. July 9th is my daughter's B day. She will be six. Uncle Space, kids eat free Tuesdays, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, kids eat free. I bring my kids there every Tuesday. He sounds like somebody's tickling the, uh, the to- Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> my kids love the shrimp there. <laughs> kids eat free. Jesus Christ, dude. That's good to know, though. Dude, yeah. I don't remember where it was. I think it was at the You wedding. don't need a babysitter. I got four kids, and you know what? Yeah, well, you give one girl $20 to watch the kid, another girl $20 to swallow your load. I mean, yeah. it works out. Wheel. Yeah. And your kids are eating free. Yeah, they're eating free. <laughs> yeah, you don't got to pay for food. You don't have to it, pay for a babysitter. Was, I, I, you don't got to pay for food. was it at this wedding where someone was actually wearing an Uncle Spiggy's fucking shirt? I don't know. What wedding were you at that yeah. someone was wearing an Uncle Spiggy shirt? Somewhere. A lot of people there knew us. Oh, well, they, Maybe. They must have bought their shirts because of us. You're like, welcome, I welcome, saw Uncle it. And I was, like, pretty hammered because I saw it. I said, yeah, fucking great. He was so I'm hammered it actually wasn't even Uncle Spiggy's shirt. He just thought it was. He <laughs> it was, was just hammered. a black shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it was a cop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm really tripping balls here, but I think that says Uncle Spiggy's. You hear a great story about the wedding? Yes. The groom. This is all Delco. They're fans. They're great people. Um, oh, I think I heard this, but keep going. No, you didn't. Uh, from a certain somebody else. No, no, not that part. Okay. So the groom, it was hot, dude. It was fucking hot that day. Yeah. It's Friday. It was like 100 degrees on the fucking whatever. He had been drinking all day, doing the pictures, all that stuff. If you ever been in a wedding? It's fucking yes. hell. Yes. It's hell. I have, yeah. Thank you. God. Thankfully, I got left out, so I could show out, show up like right at the wedding. It's even worse at your own wedding, by the way. What? All that extra Everything. stuff. I wouldn't know. I'm never getting married. And then writing that trick, check. You guys, you guys had just you completely convinced me never to get married. Yeah. Oh, or get married. That's how my wife got pregnant because I was so hammered and I wrote such a big check. And she's like, well, shouldn't we wear a condom? I said, fuck it. You see the size of that check? And Didn't you have months, three nine, kids previously? Yeah. Nine months later, there's my fourth child. So it was the size of the check that did it for Yeah. Okay. No, for me. Oh. Yeah. She said, shouldn't you wear a Either condom? Way. And I said, no, fuck that noise. <laughs> did you give her any animal? Yeah. Too. You gave her the animal? Oh, yeah. You see the size of that the check? Gift. You see the, the size of that check? This wedding, the groom got dehydrated oh, right. and fucking fell and knocked himself out. <laughs> he went face first into the ground and went out cold for 20 minutes. This is before or after the ceremony? This is uh, in the reception, like 20 minutes left in the reception. He was out cold? Oh. Out cold. Ambulance came, cops came. Wow. Yeah, dude. That makes your wedding the most memorable wedding ever. And then we are the best friends ever, so we convinced him that he didn't need to go to the hospital. So we here, eat. drink this. Yeah, <laughs> so drink some water and you're fine. And the cops are like, the cops and the paramedics are like, you can't do this. And it's like, well, this is America. Yes, we fucking can. Yeah. And they're like, you have to sign all this paperwork, and we're just convincing him that he's fine. And he's like, all right. And he signs the paperwork, and they're like, you got to sign this. And he signs his name as Peanut Butter. <laughs> didn't realize that wasn't his name. They're dragging him back in. He looks at, like, a fucking light in the ceiling and goes, Whose car is this the headlights on? Oh, <laughs> like, this is... Jesus? This is good idea. Good idea. <laughs> and that, yeah. And then a bunch of other events happen. But happened. you really don't need to go to the hospital. No. No. Nah. We're fine. We <laughs> nah. sent him home with nah. someone else's parents that made sure he... It's probably for the best. He was going to get dragged out of there. There's a 99% chance he's going to get dragged out the same way, regardless. Luckily, it was by medical professionals or whatever. And it stopped him from being... These medical professionals drug him out of there? Well, they were not very investments. professional. Yeah. <laughs> or, it's the or whatever. The uh, okay. Right. And that was the first time I encountered the lower Providence Police Department. 
first time. That night? Yes. Okay. There first was 12 time. more first time. because the party oh, there kept was, going. Oh, there was 12 more. Yes. And oh, I felt okay. bad for one cop who was on a 24-hour shift that just continuously Which had to deal with us. Which really responsible. Mm-hmm. So my, the moral of the story is I'm pretty sure Delaware County is not allowed in Lower uh, Providence Township anymore. By the way, Upper Providence, Nether ever? Providence, Delco. Lower Providence, which is geographically higher, not us. Monco. Nah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'd imagine that. Delco, if you go to Phoenixville, just apologize to any of them. Like, we were wrong. We were wrong. Mm. Silence. Radio. I disagree. Yeah. yeah. I disagree. Yeah, it's time all over. So this dude got knocked out. Yeah, should have went to the hospital. You guys drunkenly convinced him otherwise. He, he kind of wanted to leave. Huh? He kind of wanted to come back in. It was his own. Did he said, "You see the size of that fucking check?" <laughs> <laughs> he said, "You see the size of that boat pointing at grass?" <laughs> well. Guys, let's ride this purple elephant back in here. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped on my back and said, "Go, gritty, go." <laughs> Guys, did you know Guy Fieri came to my wedding? Yeah. <laughs> and Rosie O'Donnell? Dude, he's a, he's a center <laughs> And the singer of Smash Mouth. <laughs> Man, he must have got stung by a bee. Holy shit, Le- <laughs> Lena Dunham came to my wedding and she grew a beard. <laughs> she shaved her beard a little bit. <laughs> Lena Dunham looks good! <laughs> she really slimmed down. <laughs> a wreck. We are horrible human beings. She <laughs> sucks. Lena Dunham sucks. <laughs> she does. She's I a child molester. Like, oh, Lena English? Dunham's... No, she's from fucking New Haven, Connecticut. That sounds she's kind a of child molester. Uh, can we pretend she's English Sorry. and just beat the shit out of her? You're just saying that because of Adele. <laughs> no, she no. Looks like no, no, no. Well, I, no, I'm saying just because we were hating on the okay. English so much, I figured. Uh, you know what the sex position called the Adele is? <laughs> is when you cry? Where you her, don't call her back, and she cries about it. It's a hit song? No. Okay. I don't even know if I want to say this on air. It's so childish. <laughs> go ahead. Here. Thumb in the pink, finger in the stink. Pinch them together so they can go, Hello from the other side. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, can we rewind that now so I can say no to it? Edit that out. <laughs> Edit that out. This Thank is supposed God to be about not. history, and we've already talked about racist tattoos. Well, you know what? We're going to end the show this on that dark. note. <laughs> Hold up. We okay. didn't talk about the first Rick Sheds built on the moon. Oh, well, wow. keep going. Al, remember the first Rick Sheds built on the moon? Uh, uh hold on, hold <laughs> I on. I didn't get to write it. Before July I 23rd, 1963? 69. Ah, 69. Oh, how'd you forget that number? Is uh, it the lighthouse uh, shed? I'm was married. It, was it the lighthouse shed? Oh, it was, the, it, was the, it was the strong, yeah, it was the lighthouse gazebo. Light- oh, gazebo, right, 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 yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Very nice looking one. Mm-hmm. You know, and we, we said, fuck you, commies. And we put a white house shed. shed slash gazebo uh, and playground on, uh, swing set on the moon. I'll never forget where Slight Buzz Aldrin was. Yeah. When he said, as one small step for man, and <laughs> S.Y.T. for 30 mins. <laughs> I just peed all the way. Oh my god. Remember... Remember the fall of the Grand Ole Mall uh, <laughs> when Ronald Reagan <laughs> looked. <laughs> looked <laughs> what did Ronald Reagan do? Ronald and said, "Knock it down, Mr. Yeah, Gorbachev." Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this mall. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I lost Chick Fil A. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this mall. Except Clever. for the Orange Julius. Reagan smash. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the Haverford Address emancipates the main line from being considered Delco. Okay. When Abraham Lincoln freed the main line from us, we didn't, we didn't want them anyway. Really? We, didn't we just let them go? And they didn't want to be part of it. Wasn't the yet. emancipation just like, can they go? And we're like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Get out, yeah. Rich yeah. Boy. <laughs> Um, don't forget the cash for gold rush. <laughs> oh my god, the cash for gold it's, rush. So yeah, many prospectors. Yeah, 1402. Yeah. That's how Prospect Park got its name. Oh. <laughs> it was all the prospectors that went there for their cash for gold. 1749. Uh, 1871. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll just make the numbers together. Ball park. Ball park. Yeah. What about Swathmore's Folly? Oh. Where they uh, decided that the blue route only needs to be two lanes because they don't want any traffic. That was the worst idea yeah. ever. You know what? Bad history. Still I got an idea. Let's just put roundabouts while we're at it, too. 
Dude, fuck the rent. Yo, I swear to God, the, the Swarthmore 500 is a thing. It can be. No, it's going to be a thing. Like whether With they a little leverage, you can get anything in there. Anything's a butt plug if yeah. you believe in yourself at all. Then try hard enough. Are you ready to end on that one? It's, it's a little effort. Yes, but I want that to be our next fucking like sports thing that we do is the Swarthmore 500. Swarthmore 500 after the Delco Masters? Yes. All right, guys, that's the end of the show. We'll see you. Next, or two Tuesdays Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this mall. <laughs> <laughs>